Cleveland fans, here comes the bad, bad boys of wrestling. And we're talking about some mean wrestlers here, including Hercules Ayala, Abdullah the Butcher. We got Chicky Star. We got the Iron Sheik. And you've got Grizzly Boo. The Mountain Man. Okay, here we go. Special cage built up for this. Two rings. Once they're in, the door gets locked. Nobody could come out. There's a roof on the cage. The only way to win is to handcuff the other five opponents. And look who's, look who's locking the cage door. Who is that? That's Mr. Victor Quinones. Oh, it's Victor Quinones, the guy who needed the haircut. The guy who runs around at Danny's, who hangs out at Elizabeth's. Isn't that him? Well, I, I, I don't know about that, Mr. Mr. Rogers. Okay, there is the lock. And like we said, the rules. You have to handcuff your opponents on some chains that are on the walls of this cage. Once you uh, handcuff your five opponents, then you are declared the winner, and the referee will give you some keys to open up the handcuffs of the man on your team that were handcuffed. And then you have five minutes to beat up the opponents that are handcuffed. And on one side is Chicky Star and Invader going at it. There's nowhere to escape, though, Rogers. Oh, fun for my friend Chicky. You got all these rule breakers like Carlitos Colon, Bruiser Brody, TNT, the Invader. They're a bunch of rule breakers, and you got them trying to beat up my friends, my allies, my compadres, like Grizzly Boone, like Hercules Ayala, like Chicky Star, like Abdul the Butcher, and like the Iron Sheik. And I think it's an unfair advantage because you've got all these crazy carabiners cheering for Carlitos Colon and company. Okay, we have a matchup in the corner by Colon and Abdullah. And there is an Iron Sheik trying to help Chicky Star. TNT going out in the corner with Chicky Star. And there is uh, the vigilante Dutch Mantel. And look at the stupid, ugly hair on his back. He needs to shave the hair on his back. He looks like he's Puerto Rican. Look at the ring, the special war cage. And TNT connecting some tremendous karate chops on Chicky Star. Blood gushing out on the head of Chicky Star. This is the way it looks from our top camera in a corner. Brody doing some damage on the big man. No, wait a minute. Grizzly That's not the way I see it. I see it. Grizzly Boone doing some, doing some damage on Bruiser Brody. Report the facts as they really happen. Okay. And look at Chicky Star beating up TNT. TNT. I love it. TNT is beating up on Chicky Star. That's the way I see it. Hercules getting hit on the corner. And there's different battles going on at the same time. Remember, you see those chains hanging on the side of the walls. They have a handcuff, and that's where you got to put one of the arms of your opponent. And the winners are the team that handcuffed their five opponents. But what if the bad boys would happen to lose? What would happen if they would lose? That you mean, are you trying to tell They're me? They're going to get beat up. That's right. You mean you've got five minutes, 300 seconds to pummel, to bruise, to kick, to bite, to gouge That's the losing right. team? They can do anything they want to? Anything goes and no one is allowed to interfere till the referee says the five minutes are up. And that is a stipulator in the contract when they were contracted for this great war. And there is uh, the vigilante, Dutch Mantel. All over the big mountain man, Grizzly Boo. TNT is in a battle with Abdullah the Butcher. The inventor in the corner with Chicky Star. Darren Sheikits in a battle with Bruiser Brody. Hercules Ayala in trouble with Carlos Colon. This is the Great War, as it only happens in Caribbean wrestling, the hottest action. Sanctioned by the World Wrestling Council. There's a figure four leg lock on Ayala. It's a figure four on Ayala, but what's got into Carlitos Cologne? Why is he trying to make him submit? Because it has nothing to do with trying to put somebody's hand in a handcuff. See, you gotta be smart. You, you gotta be know smart. what the rules you are. You destroy your opponent in order for him to be weak enough so you could put him on, the, on that chain with the handcuffs. Yeah, but you gotta be smart. When you see Hercules Ayala, he's gonna take Cologne and put his wrist up in that handcuff. He's not gonna worry about a figure four leg lock. When you see somebody like Grizzly Boone, he's gonna beat his man 
into submission. He's going to put his hand in the handcuff. He's not going to waste his time like Dutch Mantel's doing. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't. Okay, wait, no, a minute. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. He's no, got get away from start. that. Well, wait oh, a minute. Ayala. Hercules Ayala. He has been handcuffed here at the Sports Palace in Mayo West. Yeah. Two hours and a half away from San Juan City, the capital of Puerto Rico, Mayo West, where this matchup is taking place. The big confrontation between the Justice Army of Carlos Colon against the Chiqui Stars Sports Club or his army. And Ayala has been handcuffed. Big Hercules is out of it. And now look at the way the better smacking on Hercules. He can't do nothing to protect himself. Oh, Mr. Cheap Shot Invader. It would be a look at him. He said, get up. He knows he can't get up. He's handcuffed by us with a steel chain and handcuff. Look at the cheap shot artist. It would take somebody low down like the invader to beat up on somebody that's helpless, let's and somebody not, that's incapacitated. Let's not forget, Rip Rogers, this is the great war. This is not a regular match. Here you're fighting just to survive inside the cage. There is no rules with exception of handcuffing your opponents. Everything goes, low blows, low kicks biting, uh, brass knuckles, whatever you might be able to bring inside. Everything is legal, as this is a different world for the men involved. Yeah, but still, it's a low blow. It's not fair. You wouldn't see me pulling something like that. I'm I would wrestle sure. fair. I would wrestle I square. So sure. I would wrestle clean, because I always abide by the rules. Now look, the so-called Justice Army. Okay, wait a minute. We saw one corner that had a chic. He almost has TNT. And the handcuffs. Wait a minute. He's got him. The Iron Sheik got TNT. He has fallen prisoner now. And now it's even. We got one uh, from the Justice Army and one from Chicky's Army. And now they're formatting each team. Well, I would say it's quite an accomplishment by the Iron Sheik because they were outnumbered five, five to four. But still he put TNT. Oh, wait a minute. Now we see Grizzly Boone. No, wait a minute. That's cheating it because they've got one more man. One more man the, the Grease, Justice Army has. Grizzly Boone now on handcuffs. He was double team in the corner. And now Chiki starts trying to help him, but it's too late. He's been handcuffed. So now the uh, Chiki Sports Club's army is in disadvantage. Two of his uh, powerful men, the mountain man Grizzly Boone and Hercules, are handcuffed. So we are looking at some disadvantage now. Let's see what happens here. The invader, he's got Chicky outside the ropes. This is the action of the great war, Abdullah the Butcher, trying to handcuff Carlos Colon. He's getting close to doing so in the corner. Meanwhile, the uh -huh. invader. Just with some what I kicks. thought. Somebody low down like the invader. He's either got to kick somebody in the lower extremities or he's got to beat up on somebody who's helpless in a hand so that's about his speed okay that's why i don't minute. like him wait a minute the bet has got the chicken star in the corner the handcuffs are almost put in his wrist it's getting close he's got him he's got him chicken star is in trouble now three of the sports clubs are Man, oh, and look at up. look at the cheap shot. Look at him. Look at the bully on the block. Whoa. The invader's tough when Chicky's handcuffed. But what would happen? What would happen if it was if the tables were reversed? Yeah, Mr. Tough Guy. Okay, now Mr. We're tough at Guy. Just Abdul the Butcher and the Adam Sheik. That are still fighting for the win on the sports club. Let's see what happens here. Carlos Cologne. Trying to handcuff Abdullah the Butcher. Meanwhile, the invader going out on Chiki Star, who is a bloody mess. Don't rub okay, it in. Okay, wait a minute. One second. What's happening in this corner with Abdullah and Carlos Colon? Carlos Colon struggling to put those handcuffs on those big wrists of the wild man from Sudan. It's just too bad Domingo Robles is not in there to help oh, him. Oh, stop it with Domingo Robles. I'm fed up with you and Robles. I'm sick of Robles. I don't want to hear of Robles again. Okay, here we go. Abdullah the Butcher in a struggle with Carlos Colon in the corner. Things are not looking too great for the Army. Chicky is starting bad shape. Here comes the Invader. Headbutt by Colon. The Invader goes to the other side of the ring. Let's see what happens here. Colon in a corner with Abdullah the Butcher and Brody. 
has fallen victim of the handcuff. Wait a minute, things are looking more even now as Brody has fallen victim of the handcuffs. Let's see what develops in this great war. Carlos Colon being attacked now by Abdullah the Butcher, the Iron Sheik. Has the invader and I in and, and listen to the people. They're screaming, they're cheering, they're going, Sheik, beat up the invader. Go hide and Sheik, handcuff, handcuffing, because all the people in Maya way, they're cheering for Abdullah. They're cheering for the Iron Sheik. The fans know better. The TV audience knows better. They could hear for themselves. Okay, the invader being double teamed. Here by the Sheik and Abdullah. Here it comes, Carlos Colon. Headbutt on both Abdullah and the Sheik. Now it's a four way inside the Great War. Only four men are losing the ring. And we said the only way to finish this confrontation is by handcuffing all the five opponents. Now there's a battle between the Sheik and the Invader. And this is gonna go down the wire. Look out with the Sheik. The ex amateur wrestler doing some good moves on the Invader. Okay, here we go. He has the handcuffs on the Invader. Yes, he's got him. I think he does. Rogers, I think the Irish Sheik has handcuffed. Yes. Now we'll see and, the bad boys in that. Abdullah the Butcher. Abdullah the Butcher has been handcuffed. So now. It's one on one. The destiny, the victory depends on who can handcuff the other between Cologne and the Iron Sheik. I'm putting my He's money on it. He's got a object on his hand. Well, so what? You said there's no rules, no I'm disqualification. Just it. Anything Excuse goes. Excuse me, Mr. Rogers. Whoa! Oh, and look at that punch to the head by the Sheik. The Iron Sheik punishing on Cologne. And now the fans are going crazy here. They're yelling, go, she, go. I can hear them. I'm not stupid. They're rooting for the Justice Army. They're rooting for Domingo Robles. Robles again. The fans have erupted here as they could feel that the victory could come at any second and it could go either way. What a match. This is the Great War where the tough men come to compete and prove why they are in this strong and dangerous profession. That's right, the bad boys of professional wrestling. And we're talking about bad boys. We're talking about the Iron Sheik, Chicky Star, Abdul the Butcher, Hercules Ayala. Men, real men, not skinny wimps like Dutch okay, Mantel. Now, now wait a minute, look at what is happening here. We There's mean. a free chain with a handcuff on the other side, but, but the Sheik, when where where Chikia Star was and he handcuffed him right where Chikia Star is. There so? must be a purpose here. Look out. The Iron Sheik has a foreign object all over the head of Colon, blood gushing out. Okay, we have the winners. Carlos Colon has been handcuffed. The winners of the Great War. The Chickies Army, the sports club. And now the referee has given the Iron Sheik the keys so he could liberate or set free his friends, his partners of the army. And once that is accomplished, they will have five minutes to beat up none other than the Justice Army. The fans are sad, but I see Rogers is having a great time right here. Hey, this is great. I can just see, I love it when the Iron Sheik beats up Carlos Colon. I think it's true justice when Abdul the Butcher beats up the so-called Justice Army. It's only fair the Chicky Star get five minutes with Dutch Mantel. It's a privilege and a pleasure to see Grizzly Boone beat up the so-called good guys. It's my pleasure, it's my privilege to be co-host on this video and watch Hercules Ayala, the, one of the strongest men in wrestling, one of the real bad boys in professional wrestling. It's a pleasure to sit here and watch him beat up the invader. Okay, Abdullah the Butcher, he wants to be set free. He wants to join the big party here. Oh, look at that, with a belt now. Whoa. Oh, so what? You're the man that said there are no rules. You're the co-host that right. said anything goes. You're the Mr. TV announcer that said 
Anything goes when the whistle blows. Okay. You're the man that told me the rules on this ENG promotion of the of the bad boy video that no matter what, you can do anything oh, you want to. Look at Adam Sheik. He's digging that the belt buckle on the forehead of Carlos Colon. What's going to improve his looks? Just like Grizzly Boone's improving the looks of TNT. Okay, and look at Hercules Ayala. He's, been He's set trying to break the ribs of TNT, and that's what I call justice. And the fans are sad at the sports fellas. The favorites to win this great war have fallen victims oh. of the Iron Sheik after oh. the butcher, Hercules Ayala. Oh. Why don't you cry and you're spilled? Look at the invader. He don't look so tough now, does he? A while ago, he was picking on Chicky Star, and now Chicky's getting some revenge because the invader doesn't look so tough now, does he? He's pretty tough when he could pick on somebody tied up against a cage with a handcuff, but now that it's, the tables have been reversed, now that it's his turn. Oh, look out. Here comes Abdullah to the other side of the ring. This could spell trouble for the guys handcuffed on the other side. As Abdullah is getting closer to the other side, Brody, Brody is keeping some of the rivals away with his big kicks. But uh, on the corner, something strange is going on. Chiki Star and the Iron Sheik have let the uh, Cologne free before the five minutes. And this could be something. I think coming out of the crowd, it's Domingo Robles. Now, wait a minute. Please get Domingo Robles out. We have noticed that the Iron Sheik, it's all over Carlos Colon. They were not supposed to let them free before the five minutes. Well, the but Sheik's not an expert timekeeper. He doesn't have a watch on him. How's he supposed to know? Besides, he wants, he wants to cripple. He wants to put the camel okay. clutch on Carlitos Colon. That's, and that's why. the reason. You okay. See, you think the Sheik's dumb. All right. You think he's stupid, but he's a genius. Okay, the Iron Sheik's got the camel clutch on Carlos Colon. Look at the pressure on it. Meanwhile, more punishment by Chicky Star on TNT Abdullah, it's all over. The Invader won. And that deadly camel clutch, the famous submission hall of the Iron Sheik. All over Carlos Colon, no submission could be accomplished here. And there's no referee here to signal and the Iron Sheik definitely causing some punishment on the lower back of Cologne with that camel clutch and plus the kicks of Chicky Star. Disaster for the Justice Army. They have been beat up badly by the bad, bad guys of professional wrestling, Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> Did you see that head almost went through the... The, the openings of that cage. Yeah, it would improve the looks of the Dutch man tell the so-called vigilante. Okay, the Who cares? Punishing on the Invader One, Chicky Star, giving some more shots on Carlos Cologne. More punishment, more blood on the forehead of Carlos. <laughs> and on the corner. Oh, I love this. There's I enjoy this. Look at Carlitos Cologne. Look at the ledge. Look at the Iron Sheiks. He's given up 43 times. I've heard him 43 times say, I give up. Okay. I they, give up. We see the Iranian flag being brought into the ring by Chikia Star. Look out. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Oh, Iran number one, the Sheik number one. That's what's going on. How could you do that, Rogers? Very how, easily. How could Iran you, number how could one, you, the Sheik number one. Wow, and look at that right there. Using that uh, metal flagpole, using it to his advantage, Sheikia Star, completing the damage on the Justice Army. The winners of this great war. And look at Ayala, he's got the turnbuckle off. You talking about destruction. There is Carlos, that pull up his throat. My goodness. You talking about getting beat up, embarrassed and destroyed at the same time. While dozens of fans are sad watching and there's nothing you can do about it. But witness. I would say it was a bad day for the Justice Army. You Excedrin are right, headache number one. 
sort of like going 0 for 4, missing all your free throws, having five passes intercepted, getting knocked out in the first 30 seconds of a fight. But today, in the bad boys tape, you finally get to see who's really bad. Hercules Ayala, Chicky Star, the Iron Sheik, Grizzly Boo, and Abdul the Butcher, the bad boys of wrestling, the baddest of the bad, and look at Carlitos Colon. And he look keeps at it, Dutch Mantel. He keeps it coming. He keeps it coming. The Iron Sheik not letting go. The five minutes have passed already, and they keep on with the beating here. The fans are getting more and more worried as the five minutes have passed already. Reference coming in. Some other wrestlers, I think, making their way into the ring. Is it Domingo Robles? Stop it with Domingo Robles. I'm going to go and investigate on this situation, Rogers, and perhaps we're going to find out if he got paid off by this. Okay, the invader reacted, but a little bit too late as the damage has been done. Carlos laying down, found a mat, a bloody mess, and more embarrassing the fact that the Justice Army was defeated by Chicky's Army. Your winners are the bad, bad boys of wrestling. Chicky Star, Hercules Ayala, the Iron Sheik, Abdul the Butcher, and the big mountain man, Grizzly Boone, and they are your results inside the cage. Carlos laying down a lot of blood, and I think he's completely out. And, Senseless. and what a way to end this tape, this promotion of ENG Productions. What a way to show the fans who the true bad boys of professional wrestling really are. What a way to close. What a way to end it. Glory, glory personified. But the big question in everyone's mind, the question that Hugo Savinovich has, the question that I have, the question that ENG Promotion wants to know, the big question is, in Bad Boys 2, where will, when will the emergence of Dominguez Robles finally take place? Okay, I think we heard enough for you, Mr. Rogers. Okay, the final result of this great war is the sports club obtaining a big victory over the Justice Army and Carlos not moving an inch from the ring and there's concern on the looks of all his friends here and fans have gathered around this special cage as not only that camel clutch was applied to him but also he was hit severely by that flagpole and powerful kicks by the Sheik by Chicky Star and then that flagpole against his throat area and some other punishment. Fans, this has been